Over the weekend, I have sold 26 items, so we need to get picking and get packing. Welcome back to the channel. I'm John Luke. I'm a full-time eBay seller. This is where I work out of. And today, we're just going to pick and pack all of my eBay orders. You get to see everything that I've sold, what I paid for it, and what I got for it. So we have had an update in the garage. Everything is now skewed up. Thank God. Finally, we've got it done. Six years I've been reselling, on and off. And I've never had a SKU system, so big news for me. Obviously got ABC, DE, and so on. So now, when we make a sale, with a bit of luck, it should show up. For example, Monsoon Dress, £20. It's got custom label E. So we go over here, Bosch, it's in the E box. And I know this is nothing new, everyone does it. But for me, this is a big deal, all right? It's a big deal. Without further ado, though, I'm just going to get straight into the sales. Let's make it quick, snappy. Hopefully you'll learn something. And uh, we'll get straight into it. So first sale was from the £300 haul from Stacey. £45 for this men's IXS motorcycle leather suit. Says it's on the rail. Voila, it is on the rail. As easy as that. Love to see it. So I'm just going to get all the rail stuff done first. So we've got this Alpine Stars for 50 quid leather jacket again. This one was from Stacey as well. So we go to the rail. This one is here, the Alpine Star one. It is a little bit well-worn, so that's why we didn't get crazy, crazy money. But still, a nice little earner at £50. Next one on the rail is this Cotton Traders waterproof jacket. £35 we got for that. That set us back around about a fiver. It's brand new with tags. I have got a burgundy one there as well. Brand new. So yeah, 35 quid on that one. Nice little coat. Good, good profit again. So we have acquired a lovely cup of tea there. Next sale though, we are off the rail now. So we've got this Pachamama bobble hat, which you would have seen in a recent car boot video. I think we paid a pound for that and it's gone for 11 99 That is in the J-Box. So that's the only thing in the J-Box. Just pop the top off and out comes the hat. Good little brand to look out for, Pachamama, especially like the zip-up jackets and the coats and stuff. So in the E-Box, we've got this monsoon dress for £20 sold. So we can just pop the top off here and it looks to be that one there. So that is the dress there. It's brand new with tags. Lovely little dress. Sold it for 20. Had it hanging around for a bit, so happy to let that one go. We paid no more than a fiver for that one, so still good profit. So this next sale is a double. We sold this St. Michael skirt and a little jumper for £33 all in. That is those two here. So we've got a Lockmere jumper and then the St. Michael skirt. I picked those the other day because they sold a little while ago. Just took a few days for them to pay. Glad to see those go. Buyer paid and out the door they go. On the prices, I paid a couple of quid each, so good profit again. Okay, I'll do the dreaded A box now, which is down there. So we're gonna have to lift these off, do the A box, see what we've got in there, and then we can work our way back up. Okie dokie, so in the A box, we've got this Guinness t-shirt that we got off Stacey, that was nine quid. We've got this messy boy shirt for seven pounds. We've got this Sunderland long sleeve goalkeeper shirt for 25 pounds, that came in the mystery box that we did recently. We have got this Plymouth Argyle training top for 15. And that is the lot out of here. So just need to pick our four shirts. So there is your Sunderland shirt, which we got off Ebro Classic football shirts, 25 pound for that. That set us back a tenner if you want to break it down like that. So each shirt set us back a tenner. So that is half our money back on the box. We have sold a Spurs shirt for 20 as well. So we've got £45 back on that £50 box with three shirts left to sell. So there is the Messi shirt, which is like age 13 boys. We've got the Plymouth shirt with a nice embroidered logo on that. Those two set us back about a pound each. And then finally, we've got the little Guinness shirt that we got from Stacey. So we've got nine quid for that one as well. So, so in box B, we've got this Jules men's shirt for 15. We have got this Ted Baker shirt for 14. And then finally, we've got this Johnston's Merino wool jumper for 20. So in the B box, there is that jumper. There is the Ted Baker shirt. And that one there, as you can see on the logo, is the Jewel one. Tom Jewel, which is like the men's side. So onto the C-Box, we have sold this Pachamama jumper. £46. This one did get returned, unfortunately, because it didn't fit the last buyer. But it did come back in one piece. There is the brand there. Told you before, great, great brand to look out for. Handmade in Nepal. I paid £3 for this in a charity shop back in Manchester. Also in the sea box is this warehouse pure new wool jumper. A vintage one. We got 30 for that. There is the label on that one. I think we paid £7 in a charity shop for this one. I'm liking it though. A lot of nice, easy parcels to do. Obviously, there's a couple of levers in there, which are a bit tougher. But overall, so far, nice and easy. And you can see with those two sold, there's some nice space in there now for the next lot to be done. So onto the D-Box, we sold this Amanda Wakely Principles Maxi Blazer, which is full length. We got £30 for that. I think we paid eight quid in a charity shop for that one. There is the label on that one. I think we did pay about eight pounds in a charity shop for that one. So still a decent little chunk of profit. Also in the D-Box, we have got a subscriber sale. So Mitch on Instagram has bought one of these rework football scarf jackets. 
He has got the Man United one. I am guessing he is a Man United fan. But um, yeah, that one I thought would sell fastest because of the teams on it. We did a deal on it, Instagram for that one. So we did 25 all in. I think on eBay, it's listed at 33.99. So he saved a bit of money and I've saved a bit of money on fees as well. So yeah, big shout out to Mitch. I appreciate that. And I hope you enjoy the jacket. So in the H box, we sold some Kurt Geigers for 12.99. Just some pretty standard heels there. We paid a pound in a pound sale in a charity shop for those. Took a little while to sell, but still decent little profit on that one. In the G-Box, we sold this Cotton Traders long sleeve tunic. It was in a size 26. I'm not sure if that is like UK or EU or whatever, but that is a big size. Anyway, 13 99 We paid a couple of quid for that one. That one is brand new with tags. But yeah, let me know because I didn't know that size actually existed, to be honest. But um, it seems to sell quick enough. So we're on the F-Box now. This is predominantly jeans and trousers. So the first pair was a pair of Vans for £13.49. Paid a couple pounds for those. Then we sold these bootcut Levi's for £25. We got those for £4 on the car boot. That pair of Wranglers there for £18. We paid a couple pounds for those. And that is the only three pairs. So see how we get on finding these. There is the Vans. There is the Wranglers, and there is the boot cuts. Do love a pair of Levi's, they always sell nice and quick, and yeah, they're just really strong sellers. And then the rest of the sales will be moving away from clothing. So all the clothing's here, and then obviously on the rail as well, and the rest is all bits and bobs, toys, collectibles, games, books at the bottom there. These couple of bits here have all been listed, I just need to get them skewed up and get them in a box. So in box M, we've got these vintage Fisher Price Knights, we got 19.99 for those. Those set us back a couple of quid in a charity shop. Decent one to look out for if you do see them cheap enough. I did have these as a kid. They come with like a big castle and stuff. Very cool. In Box L, we've got this Resident Evil 5th Anniversary DVD. We paid 50p for that and we sold it for 14 99 Good one to look out for. And that is that one there, Wesker's Report. And then finally, our last couple of sales are book sales. So we sold this bundle of Bernard Cornwell books for 40. Paid a pound each for those, so they set us back a tenner. And we got 39 99 So these are in nice, good condition. And it also clears out a good bit of room in the book box. And then our last one was 17 99 for these kids' box sets. So we've got Ancient Myths Collection. And we've got Shakespeare Stories. Those set us back a pound each, and we got 18 for the two. So that's all that's going out today. However, I will just mention a few sales that are pretty cool that I've not documented yet, so let's see. So these are just a couple of cool sales from earlier in the week. We've got that Game Boy Pocket that we got at the car boot. We've got 40 for that. Another pair of Levi's there for 28. That Minder box set that I got in a recent video, 25 on that. That Leather Care kit that I got at the car boot, we got 16 for that. Couple cool sales here. We've got the Sea Salt dress for 30 and the Bratz for 20. We sold a pair of them Jordans that we got from Stacy the first time round. We got 80 for those. We sold one of them Shrek sets that we had. Paid a pound each for those. We've got 25. Pretty cool. Swamp Minis. And then that Terminator 2 gun that I've had for absolutely donkeys. Sold that. I do just want to say a big shout out to a subscriber, Bungle Collects Coins on YouTube. If you do pick up any coins or anything like that and you need them identifying, get in touch with these guys because they are really, really cool and they know what they're talking about. And they are resellers as well and they are on YouTube. So yeah, go and check them out. Lots more content to be consumed. Big shout out to those guys. Any coins, anything like that, get in touch and be sure to check out their reselling channel. Okay, so that is everything I have sold this weekend. Lots of packing to do now, so I better get on with it. If you did enjoy today's video and you did learn something, hit the like button, leave a nice comment down below, subscribe if you are new, links down below to my eBay store, Facebook group and Instagram page and all that good stuff. Anyway, have a great week and I'll see you next time.